Johnny here with Team Legit. And I'm here at the 2014 Miramar Air Show. There is so much to see here. This is my sixth year coming out here. Uh, this is an annual event for me and my family. And we love to come out here and check out all the latest and greatest with the military technology. A lot of really cool things uh, in, as far as the UAVs and the uh, drone technology and whatnot. So uh, I'll try to do my best to show you guys uh, as much information about the air show as possible. But if you haven't had a chance to check it out, make sure you get your family down to Miramar, San Diego. Uh, they have this each year in October, and they have this amazing air show. It's one of the best air shows on the West Coast. There's a lot of stuff to see, so let's get started and show you what we got. Guys, I'm here with the Shadow UAV. This UAV here is set up on a catapult system, and they have this set up on the back of a truck. They can deploy this right away and just basically deploy this in a quick manner. And uh, the Shadow UAV is just used for reconnaissance purposes. They've got a thermal camera and a full 360 degree pan and tilt camera loaded up here on the nose. Uh, earlier, I got to check out the, uh, the ground station to this aircraft. It's really cool looking. It's got a little gas powered motor. Uh, and from what I'm told, the Afghanis or the uh, the people that they're fighting, the insurgents that they're fighting, call this thing the flying goat because all they hear is bah! kind of like a motor running in the air, but they can't ever see it. When they look up, they can never see what it is. But this aircraft basically is used for reconnaissance and they survey the area, they survey the targets, and then they send in the predator drones. Really cool system. Uh, one of the pilots earlier was telling me how they land these aircraft. They actually land these on a runway. Uh, they call them like a sticky, star, sticky tar runway. They put some glue down on the ground. They put some gravel. So when it lands, it's got a place to stop. But uh, some of our U.S. military technology right here seems really cool. I'm at an actual legit ground station. We're here at the 2014 Miramar Air Show, and uh, we got a test station here. As you can see, I've got the uh, sticks for the pan and tilt. Right now, we've got a target lock on somebody inside of a. Uh, what is that? An Osprey? Talk about ground station. This is your legit ground station. Nice pilots I've ever seen. They're within inches of each other, wing to wing, and they just perform these incredible aerial maneuvers. My heart is shaking right now, and I've got goosebumps. Here we go. Here's the diamond roll. Four aircrafts are going to roll at the same time.
but that thunder, that rumble in your chest is just amazing. Having a jet just flying 100, 200 feet over your head, it is something that needs to be experienced by all. That was amazing. You got some nice directional antennas here. These are the IB Crazy. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> These are their ground control antennas. Guys, we've got an RQ21 right here. This is similar to the Sky Hunter that a lot of you guys out there are flying. This is an amazing aircraft. It's got about a 15 foot wingspan and it flies on fuel. This thing can go about 20,000 feet in the air. Just look at it, it's just amazing. It's got a, a thermal camera mounted up front and it is gimbaled uh, like a lot of you guys put on your aircraft. This thing is just amazing uh, technology. So the max ceiling altitude is about 20,000 feet. And uh, they usually cruise about seven to 8,000 feet. This thing can uh, check out and get reconnaissance of a lot of insurgents on the ground. You can actually basically zoom in and see if the insurgents have AK-47. This aircraft is very vital to our ground troops. It sends a live video feed to the guys on the ground and also to the commanders to give them a better idea of where to attack or where to retreat to. However, the Marines, we don't retreat, kick ass. So I'm told this aircraft is launched by a catapult at a very, very small and short runway. It gives him the opportunity to land on a very, very short runway. How do you get it back? Crane up in the air, 30 feet up, tether hanging from it. Wing comes in, hits the tether, slides the tether along, catches in the hook right there. Dangles the entire aircraft by just one wing. Why in the world would we dangle a $700,000 aircraft from a single wing? I don't need an airfield anymore. I can land this literally anywhere I can put that crane to. It's going to be the newest technology. It's going to be replacing the shadow aircraft that we showed you guys earlier in this video. This is basically the newest of the technology getting into the UAV aircraft. Guys, I'm here with a real live MQ-1 uh, drone or UAV aircraft or RPA, which is the new term canned by the military, which is remote piloted aircraft. This thing's got about a 49 inch wingspan. It's got Hellfire missiles on there and a full thermal infrared camera. How cool is this? They've got this aircraft balanced out perfectly on the CG. I just saw a, uh, a female lift the front end completely off the ground. I thought that was really cool. They actually used this aircraft to uh, help fire, help fight the rim fire fire not too long ago. They were using it about 20,000 feet up in the air and getting nice thermal images and shots to uh, let the firefighters know which direction the fire might be moving. at the 2014 Miramar Air Show. And uh, right now I'm in an MV 
MTVR. MTVR, medium tactical vehicle replacement. Vehicle replacement. This thing is just huge. It's similar to what I drive every day. I got a Chevy Silverado. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, events and all the uh, different things you can check out at the air show. Yeah. I'm Johnny with Team Legit. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, make sure you click the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.